Hello, this is Andrea from Spreadsheetables, and today I'm going to be answering one of our Facebook group questions. Um, so in here, Alberto asked, uh, he needs something that whenever the column R is updated, he wants to change the date on column P. So I'm assuming he wants uh, the date to be the date that the column R was updated, so it's going to be today's date. Uh, so I did a quick example in here. Here is going to be the date column, which will be uh, his column P, and then here is going to be the number or you know whatever I'm editing. I'm going to put on edit. Just so you understand. Uh, oh, <laughs> it already worked. Okay, so date. So what I did, I used a little code um, on App Script, and this is all you need really. Um, so I'm gonna leave this code uh, either on the video caption or on the Facebook group post, and you can just copy this. And all you gotta do is edit this number and this number. So just explaining what happens in here. Um, this is a function on edit. So basically it's saying every time uh, something is edited on um, on column B, right? Column B is column two. Then it's going to change um, the row on column A, right? The, the column one. And then here it's going to set the value as a new date, and uh, which will be today. So. Uh, let's just go ahead back here and then I'm going to show you. Uh, so whatever I edit, even if I type, you know, t um, text, numbers, whatever it is that I add in here, anytime I edit anything on this column, it's going to add today's dates. Even if, let's say I have another date in here, right? Uh, whenever I change this, it will update to today's date. Now, um, when you, for him, for example, here, uh, he was on using, the date was on column P, and then the edit was on column R. So, if you wanna know uh, the number of the column, you can just go here on column P, and you can just enter this formula equal column, just put this, oh, this is the, has a date. Let me format. Nope. All right. Number is fine. Doesn't matter. There we go. So this is column 16. And then R is going to be 18. There we go. So now you know that this is 16 and this is 18. So all you gotta do is come back to the script and here where you want the addition to be made, you're gonna enter 18, right? Because you're editing the R. And then here you're gonna put 16, and then you're gonna save it. Once you saved it, you go back here, and then if I edit anything, now it's adding the date. I hope that was helpful. I hope this is what you were looking for. Uh, if not, leave it something in the comments and I'll, I'll come back to it. Thanks for watching.